This was a five well uh, campaign for one of our northern North Sea oil fields. This campaign was focused on enhancing production through innovative commercial and technical solutions. Uh, this collaboration also helped us unlock energy and bring production uh, one year before we had planned. When it comes to traditional business and commercial models, in many circumstances, there is a mismatch between the service company objectives and the company's objectives. The challenges with the traditional uh, model is we don't engage each other early, we don't share data, um, and, and I think that, that probably doesn't encourage uh, innovation. How this leads the teams to focus the discussion on the cost versus on the value of the technology and the output of the project. Which probably uh, you know, discourages one team approach. In this type of a new model, uh, the focus really uh, is on adding value through innovation, especially the use of technology. In the performance and production enhancement model, both parties actually share the risk and the reward associated to the intervention program. This sets the team to work together as a project team instead of two separate teams. Both technology uh, and collaboration made a difference. Because we engaged each other early, because we shared the data, we were transparent, we were able to come up with uh, really innovative solutions, technically uh, as well as uh, commercially. This puts us as a service provider, in this case, Lamberger, providing services for Inquest, into a scenario where all the technology portfolio will be provided to overcome challenges related to non-issues but also putting us in a scenario where we can overcome uh, unprecedented or unknown obstacles that we face throughout the intervention campaign. Schlumberger and Enquest experts favored from the basket that was available and also from the agile and dynamic program put by our technical teams as we were performing the work. For the first time in the North Sea, we have combined our flow scan imaging technology with our Pulsar Pius Neutron technology, and we have actually real-time identified an underperforming interval. Both teams together have taken the decision to implement the P3 Pure technology, where we aimed to maximize the production of that underperforming interval. The results were fantastic. There was a clear willingness uh, to be flexible on both sides. And look what we achieved together. Enquest is all about uh, improving efficiency, creating value. Enquest is all about uh, working different. And we're always looking for opportunities where we, we can work together. On the other hand, Schlumberger is all about customer focus and technology. The way they invest in the R&D uh, speaks for itself. That made a, a very good uh, team. The partnership between Enquest and Schlumberger as the first production enhancement risk-reward sharing model in the North Sea will surely evolve. A strategic alliance will surely uh, require flexibility on commercial and operation models. As we work together, we will de-risk operations and ensure that as we go to further projects, the learnings and experience are further implemented in order to have better outcomes in the, in the region. Projects like these uh, really prove uh, Inquest business model that with innovation and collaboration, we can really optimize production. Inquest is a leader in managing late life assets. Inquest has a track record and evidence to show how we have been able through our innovative ways of working. We were able to unlock energy and extend life of these old and marginal fields uh, in the North Sea as well as internationally. It was a success. So it's been wholly uplifting listening to the conversation between Ali and Thomas this morning and how by the application of a much more collaborative and innovative contracting strategy they've been able to unlock additional value from, from these projects. Many projects in the oil and gas sector are deemed too challenging or too difficult. But when you get the best brains together, people from the supply chain with all the good ideas, we can find new approaches to unlock these otherwise stranded projects. I have always been concerned by the possibility of some companies showing a preference for lowest cost bid when awarding contracts based on detailed scopes of work. This does not create the best culture 
to foster innovation or indeed alternative approaches which could potentially deliver greater returns for all parties. Promoting a value-adding contracting culture where all parties are aligned to a common goal is a focus area for the Oil & Gas Authority. To that end, we recently developed and implemented our supply chain stewardship expectation, outlining the ways in which companies should collaborate with our supply chain contractors. This is based on fair and equitable relationships between buyers and sellers. The examples which have been discussed today certainly reflect that culture. My hope is that this approach can become more universally adopted across the industry and in doing so unlock new opportunities for all stakeholders.